Hi, Libra Moon. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Pink here at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Libra. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread of love, money, and you, and then clarifying those three cards. I'm also going to do an overall card at the end of your reading using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot deck. And, um, oh my goodness. Shout out to the liars is what I'm hearing. Um, oh my goodness, my spirit team. <laughs> we um, be on point. Um, what I'm going to read connected to Eartha Kitt, like I feel like her story is going to resonate Possibly with everyone that comes across this message here, but it is dealing with lying and theft and um, a very unjust situation that happened for her here. Um, let me go ahead and speak on the presentation of Miss Eartha Kitt. So I, for this round of readings, uh, was channeled to... Um, present to you and also to myself because I'm learning here too which is completely fabulous I love it it's like being in school um, the uh, a beautiful collective of women from the jazz age era came to me and I just rolled through as I continue to um, look at one another one would come to me and then another one it just it was so beautiful the way it happened so Eartha Kitt has um aligned herself with the Libra reading, and um, I do feel it's more pertaining to the message. She's a Capricorn, um, but I do feel it's more pertaining to the message and about the um, balancing of the scales, how they were in balance, how um, she's moved on into a whole nother life and um, had some things happen that were, cycles were not closed. Um, so very interesting, um, but I'm going to um, read the sections that I have here for her, and then I'll leave the information I have in the description box, and do feel free to explore on your own and um, see what you may discover connected to this beautiful woman here. I loved her in Boomerang, the movie Boomerang. <laughs> uh, around my younger days, that's kind of when she first got presented to me so um let me go ahead and read what i have here eartha kitt born january 17 1927 in north and it says north south carolina u.s she didn't have a birth certificate um this was a part of the story i was going to share but she had trouble getting that and also getting information connected to her background she died on december 25th 2008 in Weston, Connecticut. American singer and dancer noted for her sultry vocal style and slinky beauty, who also achieved success as a dramatic stage and film actress. Kit was the daughter of a Cherokee and black mother and a white father she never knew. And from the age of eight, she grew up with relatives in an ethnically diverse section of Harlem, New York City. At 16, she joined Catherine Dunham's dance troupe and toured the United States, Mexico, South America, and Europe. When the Dunham Company returned to the United States, the multilingual kit stayed in Paris, where she won immediate popularity as a nightclub singer. She made her acting debut as Helen of Troy in Time Runs in Orson Welles' adaptation of Faust in 1950. With her appearance in the Broadway review, Leonard Sillman's New Faces of 1952, and with early 1950s recordings such as C'est Si Bon, Santa Baby, and I Want to Be Evil, Kit became a star. So there's another part that I found, and I'm just going to read that. This comes from a different story. Eartha Kit's daughter, and I'll again, I'll leave this information, these references in the description box for you. Eartha Kitt's daughter has revealed that the singer died without knowing the identity of her white father after being denied the truth by officials in the American Deep South. Kitt's extraordinary life and elusive past has come under the spotlight five years after her death 
with publication of a biography called America's Mistress, Eartha Kitt, Her Life and Times by British journalist John Williams. So, I mean, however you were feeling when I just read that, take that and um, just know. I, I just feel that um, with me doing this reading, we're bringing great light and, and joy and, um, you know, the positivity and the beauty of what Miss Eartha Kitt represented rather than the judgment and the uh, projection, because that could resonate for some of you as feminines here too, and being labeled a certain way just because of your lifestyle or what people think that they knew that they really did not know. Um, so yeah, we give honor to you, Miss Eartha Kitt, and um, for sure, with this coming about, I do believe that um, the cycle that has been left open will definitely be closed in some kind of way, in some form or fashion, at some point in time. Thy will be done. So thank you, Mr. Thicket, for the beautiful talent and gift that you have provided to us. I'm almost coming to tears here because that kind of that that kind of resonated resonated with me a little bit. That last part of that story there, but we do thank you, Miss Eartha Kitt, for what it is that you've provided to this world as a great service to help us to be in great joy and um, beautiful light and laughter and entertainment. Just thank you for the light that you brought to us all and continue to bring to us. All right, so I've already pre-shuffled all the decks here. I'm going to set these off to the side. And we'll go ahead and we'll get to your first card. For Libra Moon. For Love. Oh, my nose is itching. First card of Love for Libra Moon. Being strong, being strong in the name of love. I'm also hearing, um, step in the name of love, step in the name of love, clap in the name of love, by R. Kelly. <laughs> um, I do feel that this is about continual movement forward. But being strong and having the knowing that um, what goes around comes around. What you put out there is what you get back. But also being a great magician in your life. To be able to love yourself. Being strong enough to love yourself in the midst of any adversities. I'm also getting that this could be... Um, like I'm getting a Leo person connected to some Scorpio energy. And with the bear energy... For a lot of you feminines, this could be um, the presence of, like, I'm getting a, a great protector here that may be coming through for you as a part of uh, some love here. And it doesn't have to be romantic, but I am getting it being somewhat of um, a nice, stout, protective, loving, kind-hearted person um, that's either in your life right now, and if they're not in your life right now, they're coming. They're also very abundant. Um, I'm getting double eight energies that are present here. Just very strong Leo energy that's here too. Um, this is a card of Leo, but with these eights, just seeing the presence of that and then it being connected to the uh, magician energy as well. So Gemini could be um, significant here too. And then I'm also getting, for those of you who are in connection, um, this is just a testament to the strength of you continuing to be in a, a connection or a relationship and being very strong. And then I'm also getting, mm, I'm also getting, um, like, I, I can't remember how long ago that was, uh, maybe a month ago or so. But there's a different strength card that wanted to come through where um, feminine energy, low vibe feminine energy was overpowering the masculine energy in partnerships. 
And so I'm getting that for some of you as male, masculine energies, uh, you're being very strong for yourself in the name of love, learning to love yourself, to be able to move yourself away from unwanted situations. I do see this as major karmic activity with the infinity symbols and even with the eight um, being here. But this infinity, just because it looks like an eight, I'm just getting that being double energy. Just like I was getting the double eights, I'm getting double infinity energy here too. And the impact of what's been put out there coming back even stronger than what was sent. Take what resonates. That was very interesting. And I do feel it's disconnected to your Libra energy and the feels of everyone in the collective. And um, what's being brought into balance for everyone on all aspects. So if you've already been in the right, it's just going to increase more of that right and bring about what's fair. If there's been unjust situations and then if you've been in unjust situations, that's going to be balancing itself out. Um, but yeah, for those who have, you know, just been in beautiful connections and in, in great love and harmony, the prosperity is increasing. But that first story, most for surely um, for you feminines who are single, I do see um, someone very stout coming through here for you as a great protector and provider to possibly here with the prosperity energy. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get to, I'm also getting um, the energy of Hydra, the 88 energy as well, the constellations being connected to this. So someone possibly here too being very galactic. Let's get to your money card for Libra Moon. For money for Libra Moon. All right, so we have the Page of Pinnacle, we have the Page of Cup, we have the Four of Pinnacle. Now that I'm getting that, I'm seeing there being an overpowering situation here. And the transmutation that's taking place by you as a magician energy for you feminines that resonated with that first story and what's coming in for you, because you've possibly dealt with, um, and I do feel that um, for a lot of you, like I know on my birth chart, it's destined for me to be connected to um, uh, a beautiful interest who has um, great finance. And so I do feel with me saying that a lot of my tribe and the feminines connected to this are a part of this as well. So I'm just going to speak on that because that's what I'm feeling right now. If something else comes through, I definitely will speak on it. But with this being in the money section, I do feel that there was a contract that did not come through, a small offer that was very slow to come in as well, as I was getting the Knight of Pentacles, and this came out in the last reading here too, this is so dope. The same damn cards, but now we have the chokehold tightness of a four pinnacle energy of someone who is in great withhold, and I feel it's connected to this overpowering energy that you may have dealt with in the past, where now you have a great... Provider, as you release this energy, I feel this is just about the exposure of who it is that you may have dealt with, connected to love and money. Um, but again, I'm seeing a small offer that um, was half ass, um, being connected to some immaturity of a water sign. So strong Scorpio coming through and those double eights. Uh, speaking to the amount of Scorpio from within this person. Now we have that here with the cups energy. So very immature behavior and then withholding a lot here. And so that energy of what goes around comes around. I'm just feeling that very strongly for whomever has been on the, um, the side of injustice and not doing what's fair. Things are definitely being brought into balance where I feel the First components of that are this being brought to light. There's a lot of light energy where there's very dark energy here. So I feel what's been in the dark is now coming to light, being both connected to love and money. 
Pentacles and Pentacles, we have that as Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And again, Cups is Water, Scorpio, and then also Cancer, Pisces, and a few this. Fours are connected to stability, so someone's been messing with their stability. This could even be you as this person here. And what, you know, if you've partaken in this energy on the lower vibration of withholding and not being fair or just and being a Libra person, the universe is going to make sure that that is brought into balance. One of the first steps is this all coming to the surface. Let's go ahead and we'll move on to the U card for Libra Moon. Nothing can be hidden is what I'm hearing. U cards for Libra Moon. I am getting father, father energy, uh, having poor fathering, um, and going right back to Miss Eartha and what happened with that situation with her father. And it doesn't have to be that exact situation, but something connected to a dysfunctional uh, connection connected to the father is coming through. Wow. All right. So I do feel that this is more about, um, you know, what's destined for a feminine energy connected to this. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking, but connected to these cards and what's coming through is a part of some great injustice. Uh, Four of Cups is also about an opportunity not being taken or something or someone being taken for granted being more focused on their own cup and what they can get from a three of cups situation. So great indulgences and um, possibly third party situations, sleeping around and everything that's been said, I feel about like Eartha Kit may have been said about you as a feminine. If you are this feminine where you're, it's being seen who's been connected to you as a masculine energy and how it is that you may have been tainted or painted when all reality, it was simply projection that was coming from this masculine because they were the ones that were being in this energy of um, sleeping around, being unfaithful, um, more concerned with their own selves here and being very selfish. I'm getting very selfish and I'm, that's taking me back to this four pinnacle there too, being very selfish, not taking um, opportunity of a Divine connection is also what I'm getting connected to this four cup, but I'm also getting um, the energy of um, being at a, a state, almost like a stalemate. And all of this, it just being an empty cup, as much of, you know, we see going into this cup from these three cups, I do feel like this is bottomless. Like it's not able to be filled back up because it's not being done in the right way. The process of, you know, how one is receiving has been built on a foundation that started on um, shit. That's what I'm getting. Cups is more water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and a few gifts. With the star energy, I'm not getting this as being um, a wish come true or through. I do feel that you are the star for those feminines. That's the story is wanting to come through as. And um, you being able to create and be an alchemist and just know that you do have a destined and fated situation that is meant for you. And as you release anything that's connected to this that is not honoring that, what is meant for you will come through for you. Again, I just feel that this is about the steps to expose and bring to light who it is and what it is that you've been dealing with. And um, the first thing that I got when I seen this star is that this is dealing with a 3D celebrity. And that's it. We have another eight here to identify that person there. And then the energy of the four and the four here as another eight there. The ties that bind. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll get to your clarifiers. I'm going to scoot these over. And because this is coming through in this way, um, this masculine energy that I'm picking up on could be a Libra energy. And them just being seen for their truth is the Empress. And I do feel that this is the feminine energy that this 
energy. If this is you, Libra moons as this masculine energy, you're very much attached to this empress, to this empress here, possibly even obsessed. This is very strong Scorpio energy that I'm getting. All right, let's clarify the strength card. Six of Cups. So I'm just getting this as being a soulmate. Um, and it being in um, comparison to a uh, two of cup and to show that there's a six of cup here in the love section where I'm just getting that being completely connected to a karmic situation. And um, I do believe it had the potential to be a two of cup. But with that two of cup connected to a four of cup, we get that overall six of cup. With the interest of someone being here more concerned about a four of cup with this being in the you section. And it doesn't have to be you. I just feel there's a strong attachment for, again, masculine energies um, being more of this energy being brought to light connected to feminine energy. As I'm seeing the feminine pink in the background, and that pink energy is your energy too, but I'm just getting it being more of a delicate energy connected to a feminine, where a feminine's been heavily disrespected and disregarded and dishonored by a six of cups soulmate. So again, masculine energies as Libra moon, this could be you. Take what resonates though. But um, again, two of cup with the four of cup creates this to be an overall six of cup where I do feel the potential of a two of cup is now missed and gone. All right, let's clarify the love section. We have the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So I'm seeing not moving away from a very unhappy situation connected to a contract, Ten of Pentacles being involved. And then with this Page of Pentacle, I do feel that this is about this offer here that was to come through that's very slow moving or not even coming at all. And the reason why there's a Page of Pentacle is because there's already a contract that's been established here connected to great finance, but I feel that this is connected to you, but you're not receiving this. If you're this feminine energy, this is connected to you. But you're not receiving this. This is a part of another contract here of an unhappy situation that's not being moved away from. And that being a part of the small last offer that has come through or has not come through. Or I'm getting it not really coming through in the way that it should. And also being a part of the great withholding. Connected to that Four of Pentacles there. Four of Pentacles is also the Minor Emperor and the uh, Minor Arcana. So I was also getting a father. So um, any traits that are connected to this masculine energy where they may have dealt with their own situation connected to a dysfunctional family, connected to a father and some dysfunction. They're simply carrying this on. Let's get to the clarify for the four of cups for the U section. Clarify the U section for Libra Moon. We have the chariot.
And this is a card of seven. <laughs> I feel that um, if there's any kind of movement for you feminines from this masculine towards you, you're saying no. Because I do feel that this person may possibly, um, if this is you, masculines, as the sleeper moon energy here, and you're moving towards and forward, um, forward and towards, excuse me, a feminine energy um, that's been dishonored, there's nothing to move towards. I'm also seeing this card here. We're going to see what that is. King of Cup in reverse. Yeah, manipulated energy. Emotionally manipulative is also what I'm getting here. And that's just being that strong water energy of the Scorpio energy that I was picking up on. So having great emotion from within, but it just being a heavy dysfunction. We also have the story of, you know, a situation here between an empress and a king of cup. This is a minor emperor here. It's not even coming through as an actual emperor. Um, from the major arcana. So I just feel that this is all about a facade energy that's been displayed by a masculine energy. And um, the truth is being seen about this person. here, Where they may, and it's almost like um, that page of cup energy, very immature energy, where I'm getting like a chariot energy of like moving forward, but then almost like knight of cup flighty type energy. Because I'm not getting, you know, sitting and, and analyzing, assessing. I just see someone sitting, uh, you know, feeling like they're high on their horse. I'm not even getting cherry energy. And like with what I'm getting connected to that, there may be slight movement forward. But I just feel it's very irresponsible. It's not balanced. It's not on a good foundation. And I was getting that from this energy here. Where now what I'm getting with the seven energy is the four of cup energy connected to the three of cup energy and that creating that seven energy that's connected to the Libra energy. It's just being a part of a Libra moon energy or Libra moon reading to speak to the Libra person that is being exposed in this reading. Who's been on the lower vibrational energy where now skills are being balanced in the situation with the steps of things being brought to light. So that Four of Cup, um, just speaking to the overall opportunity being missed and being taken for granted because of a Three of Cup. And again, that Four and that Three comes together to create the Seven, where I feel it's just, again, exposing the truth of the person here who may also have cancer in their chart. Six of Pentacles, breadcrumbing is also what I'm getting here. This is about equality and fairness and balance being restored here too as well. But I do feel with this coming at the bottom of the deck underneath the star and what I was picking up as this just being simply a celebrity person here, being in the state of breadcrumbing and being unfair and not knowing how to share. All right. Oh, this is a little darker than I had anticipated, but it's okay because these need to come through for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and we'll get to your final card. I'm going to set this down so I don't bump up. <laughs> I'm also hearing God's plan with this here too. And the message I'm getting from that is it just being seen on the outside as someone being a giver, but then behind closed doors, not really caring and not doing any of that or not really feeling that or not really representing that and just doing it for the publicity. Let's go ahead and get your final card for Libra Moon. King of Cup reverse again. 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 So that just confirms what I just said. Because um, King of Cup in the upright is a very loving person. 
very welcoming person, a very kind and understanding person who is always willing to be there to do what they can. They are very loved and lovable with this reversal energy, just getting the complete opposite of what I just said. And then also that emotional manipulation coming through. Someone taking for granted opportunity to be on the real because they had decided to be fake. And to sell their soul pretty much is what I'm getting with that celebrity status there and the indulgences and all the messiness and the sloppiness that's coming through as a part of this. Um, I'm even seeing those double eights here in that four of pentacles there. And I feel that as much as this person may want to try to get away from their own truth and what it is that they've taken part in, and made the decision to do, and you know, with all this behavior here, it's all coming up. It's like vomit. It's just been ruminating and gaining greater force to come up and out into the light, to be purged so that someone can heal. This isn't, you know, to shame anyone. It's to help people to see the truth for themselves because they have not been wanting to see their own truth, possibly not even looking in the mirror. And um, this reading being a part of that assistance here. I'm just astonished that that King of Cup in reverse came up twice here. Let's see what's on the bottom. Seven of Coins. So I feel that this is that feminine. You have everything that you need here. Everything that you need to be able to create what it is. You're being supported. You're being seen. As much work as it may seem, you've got the goods to be able to bank on any kind of investment that you may have made connected to individuals. And you have someone here who's wanting to give and be a part of what it is you got going on. I love it. This dog is looking at these owls. A little suspect. They got something going on there. And I just feel you're being supported. There's loyalty here that's coming through for you. I do see you looking upon and creating new. Moving into an eight of coin energy. Then a nine of coin. Then a ten of coin. So for you feminines, keep going. Masculines, I wish you much healing. Libra Moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.